Hi. Aloha, everybody. Today we're going to check out Hank's Hot Dogs located in Salt at Kaka'ako. Let's go. In the Kaka'ako area of Honolulu lies Salt, a city block full of merchants and eateries embracing the local culture and history. No two vendors are the same, and there is something for everyone. Today, we are here to visit Hank's Hot Dogs. This establishment has been a part of the Kaka'ako district for many years. Hank's offers a gourmet spin on the average hot dog experience and takes it to another level. We ordered online, and after picking up our order, we drove a little further down to eat at the Kaka'ako Waterfront Park. This is the perfect place for taking a nice walk while enjoying the views of the ocean. There are several hills at this park that are sometimes used for sliding down while sitting on cardboard. The Ihime Maru Memorial also calls this park its home. The anchor used for the memorial is an actual anchor from the boat that sank as a result of the disastrous crash. There are some picnic tables available throughout the park, but on a nice day, you can set up a picnic blanket and enjoy. Okay, first up is the beef fat fries. So French fries, fried twice, I believe, in beef fat. They also have regular fries, but why get regular when you can get beef fat? <laughs> now when they first started, they had um, duck fat fries, mm -hmm. and those were really good. I'm wondering why they switched to beef fat. Oh, these are good too. Yep. Tastes like a steak was next to it. I mean, if you have a choice between regular and beef fat, you gotta go for the beef fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the child has requested to make an appearance on our channel. So we're gonna try the beef fat fries. Okay. <laughs> How is it? Well, really good or just a little bit good? Really good. Mm. All right. <laughs> What I really like is that Hank's packages in this box makes eating, cleanup, everything so easy, um, especially transport. Your hot dogs don't get thrown around and smashed. And inside the boxes, they offer you two handy wraps, uh, not handy wraps, moist towelettes <laughs> <laughs> for cleanup after eating their hot dog. First up is the Hawaiian dog. Portuguese sausage and it has a pineapple relish and some kind of mustard on it. Mango mustard. Mango mustard. All right. So this is the first time I'm trying this hot dog. So let's it smells see. amazing. You can smell that mustard. Yeah. The sausage has a nice snap to it. Pineapple chunks and that mango mustard provide just enough sweetness for this Portuguese sausage. It's pretty refreshing for a hot dog. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, even coming from somebody who doesn't typically order things with fruit <laughs> on meat. Another pineapple. Yeah, I mean, this is really good. Okay, next up is the Fat Boy Hot Dog. This is a bacon wrapped, all beef hot dog, deep fried with tomato, lettuce and mayo definitely see that it has been fried and i can see the bacon wrapping on it yep there's the tomato only one part that's a great hot dog <laughs> first of all it's wrapped in bacon secondly it's deep fried <laughs> Which, I mean, how can you go wrong with bacon and something that's deep fried? It has an amazing flavor, very beefy. Very juicy. Very juicy. And the tomatoes and the lettuce and the mayo give it a nice, clean aftertaste. And it's a nice and firm sausage, too. It's not like, you know, the ones you would typically get from like a grocery store where just like Easy to eat, slides right down the throat. <laughs> this one takes some work, 
to chew it, but I mean, more work than just sliding down your throat, but it has a great texture as well. Overall great hot dog, overall great hot dog. Everything gets a check on that one. Okay, next up is the cakey dog. So they do have a cakey dog combo. Well, I'll be hot dog, yeah. Made for little hands and little mouths. So we have the child here. Again. Again. <laughs> okay, you ready to try your hot dog? Mm -hmm. It's yummy. Mm. Yeah? Do you taste the hot dog? And ketchup and ketchup. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. It also comes with regular fries. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, it also comes with a pineapple slush. Okay. I got the pineapple. Tastes like pineapple? I got the pineapple slice too. Ooh. Is it re is it refreshing? <laughs> Tastes like a juicy pineapple. Yeah. So it's a good option if you have little ones with you. We jumped the gun a little bit there. <laughs> um, so <but laughs> here we go again. We accidentally bit this before <laughs> recording. It just smelled so good. But we have video of it before it being bitten. Um, so this is the curry worst hot dog. Currywurst is um, a steamed white bratwurst with spicy curry ketchup and grilled onions. So before biting it, you could see the curry ketchup just dripping off of it. But Smell it. Yeah. yeah. It smells amazing. Looks amazing. sausage just has such a nice snap to it. Nice snap to the casing. Very tender on the inside. That curry ketchup is outstanding. And it packs a big curry flavor to that. The grilled onions complements it. Oh man, this is, this is a must get if you like curry. Absolutely. So it is mildly spicy, but just like curry, it has a little spice to it. So if you're not into spice, then this one's not for you. But if you're a curry lover, give this one a try. Okay, last hot dog is the chili dog. Now, not only does this come in its own box, it comes in its own tray. Mm -hmm. So this is um, Hang's homemade chili with beans and onions and cheddar cheese. Ooh, look at the cheese. And if you're wondering, Hank's does sell just the chili. So if you're a fan of the chili, you can always buy the chili Put it on your own hot dogs. I think there's just as much chili as there is hot dog mm -hmm. on here. There's a very good balance. The chili has a little bit of bite with the onion. You have like the slight sweetness of a hot dog. This is a nice balance. Beans, I could give or take on this one because you have the bun. Um, texture wise, it kind of gets muddled with the bun texture. Um, but it has a nice spice to that chili and it's, it's pretty good. So I love chili dogs. So if any place has a chili dog, I'm most likely ordering it <laughs> off of the menu. This is a good choice. So the chili is nice even though it has beans. And <laughs> you know, that with the little bit of bite from the raw onion and the cheese and that hot dog. I mean, if you're a hot dog lover, there's no other place to go besides Hang's Hot Dogs. Well, in Hawaii. Hi. Hello, we're back in our wrap up room to wrap things up. <laughs> Uh, we can't see enough uh, nice things about Hank's hot dogs. Everything we ever try there is always amazing. We haven't found anything we didn't like yet. Oh, one thing we about will. one thing about this one, they didn't have the duck fat fries. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer.
I really enjoyed that when they did have it. <laughs> but they replaced it with something I would say equally as good. The beef fat fries were also good. Mm -hmm. I recommend you order online. It can get pretty crazy there. So we'll put the link here and down below in the description for your convenience. <laughs> so Hanks does, they do have a, a rotation of daily dogs. So check their website for what dog is available that day. Parking kind of gets a little rough around that area. There are street parking. Most of it is metered. Some of it is not. They do have a parking structure. They have a paid parking structure. Depending on when you go and what else is going on mm -hmm. around that area, uh, sometimes they close it. So it gets too yeah. full and they close it. So They have a number of places there to visit. So yeah. Quite a few people actually flock to that area. There are many other places that we will eventually get around to checking out at Salt also, but we definitely recommend you check that area out. It's also considered like the art district. So they paint buildings and the streets and stuff with different murals mm -hmm. and it's a Instagram worthy location. <laughs> so Yeah. You'll see a lot of people walking around just taking pictures. Yeah. Um, as far as the Kaka'ako Park, uh, like we mentioned, it is a nice area to just kind of walk around and even picnic. And the Ihime Maru Memorial mm -hmm. is also there. So we'll put a link below for that for more information regarding that event and why that memorial exists. Um, but if you would like to, you can pay your respects there. Mm. It was a tragic event. Yeah. And now it's time for the word of the day. Today's word is salt. So salt in Japanese is shio. Shio. S-H-I-O. Sometimes it gets hard to spell in English letters. Shio. Right. Shio. <laughs> salt in Hawaiian is pa'akai. Pa'akai. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit longer. Yeah. So, which actually is displayed in the salt uh, area. They do have the English and Hawaiian version of the word displayed there on their signs and they also incorporate a bit of the Hawaiian culture in that area too so um, take a look at all the walls <laughs> and the pillars because you might see some Hawaiian language and of course you put the translation there too and that's a wrap thank you so much for watching if you like the video give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's any place you want us to check out. And we'll see you next time.